Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, I'm Get Good Guy, and today I'm going to talk about the difference having good iron sights can make for your performance. Or rather, having iron sights that suit you and your eyes can make for your performance. Because not everyone agrees on these kinds of things, of course. For example, myself and many others can't stand the Enfield Infantry iron sights. I even made a challenge video using it and the Calibri, because I find the Enfield sights that hard to use. I'll link to that video in the description if you haven't seen it. But, a few people have said to me that they actually like the Enfield Iron Sights and they work well for them, which is fair enough of course, and it shows just how big an impact it can make having Iron Sights that you're comfortable with. And although it may seem like a very specific topic, I figured it could be a valuable one to cover today as it's something that I don't think some people consider and thus doing so could help their gameplay a lot. Also it gives me the chance to suggest alternatives for when you don't like the Iron Sights and it allows me to find out from you guys which Iron Sights you love and which you hate. Be sure to let me know in the comments below because these sorts of things can be really interesting as there can be such a large range of answers. So for this video I've captured gameplay from two different scout weapons, one with the iron sights that I'm very comfortable with, the Ross Infantry, and one with sights that I'm really not comfortable with, the Viterli Vitali Infantry. If you're unsure which is which, well, when the red skinned rifle is on screen, that's the Ross with the sights I like. When the white skinned rifle is on screen, that's the Viterli with the sights I don't like. And I've also left in some of the sidearm action I got whilst using them, as I find that to be an interesting counterpoint for this subject. This is because if I were to look at gameplay of someone using the sidearm in question, the C93, I'd have said that I probably won't like it. It seems like aiming with the weapon is a little unclear and your vision is briefly obscured between each shot. And yet, in reality, I really like the C93. So you genuinely do need to try things out before deciding if they can or can't work for you. And thus, I advise you to do just that. Even with the weapons I'm showing in this video, you may find you don't like the Ross Infantry Iron Sights, and you may find that you do like the Viterli Iron Sights. I personally don't like the Viterli Sights, and I'm fully aware of why. It's pretty much the same reason why I don't like the Enfield Infantry Sights and some others. I find them big and clunky. My view is obstructed regularly by the sights themselves, which means I find it hard to track targets. You may notice in the Viterli footage that I tried using the Iron Sights and the Radium Sights, as well as high magnification and low magnification, but nothing really fixed the problem for me. This isn't to say I can't use the Viterli, I can do decent work with it and find it to be great for centering your crosshairs on areas that you think enemies may approach from at close quarters and then taking essentially pot shots with quick aiming and shooting. The close range sweet spot really makes it potent in this sort of scenario if you hit your shot, but I'm just not anywhere near as comfortable with it as I am with something like the Ross Infantry, and I can tell you that my performance jumps up drastically when using something like the Ross because of this very reason. So for those weapons you just can't can't perform well with but you can't seem to work out why, consider if a change of sights might help you out. I went a fair old while in this game without altering my sight choices and this was a mistake. Learn from my error if you need to. It really can transform how you use a weapon. I personally don't tend to like radium sights. There's only a few weapons I find they actually help on but this might not be the case for you. So give them a try for a while and see if they mesh with how you like to play. And it's not just for scout weapons. Although I do find that they're most heavily affected by their sights due to the precision nature of them, but it can make a difference on other weapons as well. For example, I like the Buckhorn sights on the RSC SMG, and I almost always use AA sights now on LMGs. I find them far easier to use, and for a long time I didn't do this, so I was really missing out during that period. A big one I can think of is on the Howl Automatic Factory. Many people don't like the iron sights on that weapon, so try the AA sights on it. I personally think they make the weapon way better in this instance, and also in terms of visibility improvements, it doesn't just have to be the sights that you alter. As I mentioned earlier, I like to try to also alter the magnification to see if it helps. It doesn't always, but it can. Say you have an automatic weapon with high recoil and you're struggling to focus on anything except how much it kicks up, well try lowering the magnification. Or if you have a weapon where you just can't see as much detail as you want through the sights, try increasing the magnification. You may well be surprised how much of a difference altering both this and the sights can actually make. So so from now on, don't assume you just suck with something. Switch things up and try again. With practice, you might find you start to dominate with it, or at least have a little bit more fun. If it doesn't work out for you, then so be it, move on to something else. So now, tell me, which sites can you really not get on with, and which sites are your absolute dream? Let me and everyone else know in the comment section below. Now let's go over to the Board of Awesome for the epic people who allow you to get content from me full time by supporting the channel on Patreon. They are the main reason you're watching this video right 
now. So thanks to everyone on here. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome, the link to the Patreon page is in the description and in my pinned comment. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't want to miss future videos, turn on notifications with the bell button and select to always be notified on the options tab that should then pop up. And then feel free to like, share and subscribe. I'm Get Good Guy and I'll see you next time. Laters.